Yeah, that really doesn't feel too much slower than stock. Like, Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Ram 1500 Black Widow Edition. First and foremost though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Provo for giving me some time with this Black Widow truck. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. Now under the hood of this truck, we have the 5.7 liter Hemi e-torque setup. So it's paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 395 horsepower and then 410 pound feet of torque. And then you get an extra 130 pound feet of torque off the line from the electric assistance. And I'm not gonna state fuel economy numbers because obviously those have changed with the lift and the tires. Let's go over the front end of the Black Widow. So first off, you guys will notice here on the hood that we've got this venting on either side. It says Black Widow on it. And then we do have the full LED lights with the accent lights as well. We've got the fog lights down below with the parking sensors, just like you're normally gonna get with the truck. And then here's a quick look at the air dam there at the bottom. And then notice the grill's also blacked out, but then we do have our normal Ram badging right there that's finished in chrome. And yeah, just look at this truck from the front. It looks great. Now coming to the side here, we've got 20 inch wheels and wrapped around that we do have 35s and then this has a six inch lift. And then here's kind of a look at the whole setup just underneath. And then on top of that, you can see that we've got the SCA brake calipers, which overall I love this setup in terms of the looks of it. You've got the aggressiveness from the tires and then I just like the blacked out design with the silver inserts on it. It kind of just all comes together. And then the red brake calipers do make it look quite a bit sportier. We also also have the fender flares that have been added on here to the side we've got our black widow logo right there next to the ram badge and then we do have the side steps which is another part of the package and other than that just look at this from the side it has such a good stance it looks fantastic and then I'll show you guys quickly the suspension setup or at least what we can see in the rear here so you guys can see that whole system and everything but yeah that's everything for the side Now let's quickly pop into the bed of the truck. The thing I wanna mention is the bed is actually pretty high, obviously because of the lift. It's probably about, I'd say just over three feet off the ground. I uh, just thought I'd mention that. And then notice we do have LED bed lights here in the back. And then we've got the sliders because this does have the bed utility group. And then notice you've got your SCA performance sticker there on the back windshield and well, so you. Now coming to the rest of the back, notice we've got a regular Bighorn badge because this is built off a Bighorn package and then we have our Black Widow badge right there. This does come with a performance exhaust. You can see we've got the blacked out tip so It's kind of hard to see because of the lighting today, but I'll get you guys an exhaust clip a little bit later in the video so you can hear what that sounds like. And then something to note, we still have just a regular spare tire. So if you do get a flat, your spare tire is gonna look like, well, a regular spare. Anyways, notice we've got the parking sensors along the bottom there. And then here is your full three quarters angle so you guys can see the stance on this truck. Again, beautiful. So coming to the door panel here, we have a normal Bighorn door panel. So we've got the cloth trim mixed with the leather. And then we've got these custom seats here. So notice we've got the leather seats. I love the diamond stitch pattern here in the center portion, looks really good. And then just like all the other Rams, still get these storage boxes here just underneath. And then notice we've got the cup holders right there. And then we've got the USBs down below with the full power outlet as well. And yeah, that is pretty much everything for the back. The biggest change is just the seats. So, so yeah. Now here's the door panel in the front. So again, notice we've got the cloth trim mixed out with the black to trim and the leather trim just down below, just like any other big horn. This does have the power folding mirrors as well. And then here are the front seats. So we've got the Black Widow logo on the headrest, and then again, that diamond stitch pattern in the center portion. Seat is power adjustable. Here's the pedal layout. The pedals are power adjustable. We've got a parking brake, the light control, the steering wheel is manually adjustable, and there's one more look before we pop in. Here is the steering wheel. It's just a regular Bighorn steering wheel. So we've got the leather around the steering wheel. I have a cruise control here with the gear limiter and then it controls for the center stack with your voice command controls as well. And then you've got the stock for the windshield wiper and turn signals. And yeah, that's everything for that. 
Now we do get a custom gauge cluster. So you guys can notice we've got the red outlining with the gauges, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. That's another cool part of this package. And then you have like the little spider there on the background. Now this does have a speedo recalibration as part of the lift. And then here for the center screen, it's identical to uh, any other truck, what you're gonna get. And so that is unchanged. It's just the gauges on either side that they have customized. Now, as you can see, this does have the 12 inch display. So we've got the climate controls flanking either side, radio controls here, and then Notice we've got this for the parking sensors, tow haul, stability control, the trailer steering, and then the trailer brake controls. And then we still have the dial shifter. And we've got our two-wheel drive, four-wheel auto, four-wheel high, four-wheel low, and then neutral, and then the auto stop start down below. But yeah, all this is unchanged. Nothing has been, I guess, changed in the infotainment system. One thing to mention, since this is built off a of Bighorn, it does have heated seats and heated steering wheel, no air-conditioned seats or anything like that. And then we do have the backup camera, which does have the zoom in function on it as well but yeah that's everything for the infotainment system section a couple usbs right here some extra storage space where the cd player used to be and then notice this is the phone holder full power outlet and then we've got the center console slides back and forth have the leather there on the top and see again this whole area is unchanged and then the glove box as well i didn't change anything there that's all normal and then the dash is just a regular big horn dash and then finishing things here at the very top you guys can see that we still have a panoramic sunroof and then we also get the power sliding window. So pretty much fully loaded big horn interior. So sorry about all of the glare, but you guys can see the original base MSRP 60,000 before this Black Widow package was added. And then you guys can feel free to freeze the frame in this part. And again, sorry about the reflection. So you can see all the equipment that this package adds. And then also it does come with an extended warranty, but total MSRP with this package, $81,076. Wait for it, wait for it, wait a little bit longer, and let's take her out and see how she drives. Let's quickly go over visibility here in this Black Widow 1500 before we set off. So you guys can see visibility of the hood. It's cool to see the venting. And then here's your visibility through both of the mirrors and then throughout the rest of the rear. And I'll probably take these uh, papers right here and move those over, but let's set off. So we are setting off here in the Black Widow Ram 1500. And I think that this is quite possibly my favorite lifted truck ever. And here's why, first off, it looks killer, okay? And we'll kind of talk about it at the end. But aside from the appearances, it drives so nice. You gotta remember with the Rams, they've got the five link coil suspension in the back end. Most truck makers still use leaf springs. The coil suspension is so smooth. It doesn't get upset when you go over bumps or anything like that. It's just a really good system. And again, this has that. And so it just has this nice smooth ride quality to it. it doesn't get upset and again when you usually lift trucks right it will kind of mess with the ride quality a little bit not really with this this feels as smooth as a stock 1500 even with the big 35s on 20 inch wheels it just feels absolutely fantastic i love it from a ride quality perspective and then aside from that, the acceleration, we'll kind of get one up here in a little bit, but it doesn't feel too different, right? There will actually be a difference because it's got a section six inch lift and 35. So yes, there will be a difference, but I don't think it's actually too bad. Um, but aside from that, it's easy to drive, right? It's a, it's a big truck and it's got the fender flares and the wider stance, but it's really not hard to drive in traffic. And it gives you this cool king of the road feel like this, I don't know, it's just such a cool feeling being in the truck. So yeah, that's definitely a huge plus. Um, but yeah, so far the truck's so easy to drive and it, it just has this cool feeling to it as well. Um, something I haven't touched point on yet is with the brakes. The stopping power on this feels pretty close to stock. It doesn't feel like it stops any faster, any slower. So there's not really any issues with that. Um, but hopefully we can get kind of a little ish acceleration here so you guys can see and well i'll tell you if it accelerates any faster any slower than stock yeah that really doesn't feel too much slower than stock like there's there's a little bit of a perceivable difference but it's it's really not that bad it's pretty dang close so 
you're not really giving anything up when you go for this in terms of the acceleration. And that'll get me to sign things up here with this Black Widow truck. So like I already said, exterior wise, it looks fantastic. Interior wise, again, this is built off of a Bighorn. And so I actually really like the interior of the Bighorns. Now, the only downside about this truck is it doesn't have the leather dash like what you get in a Laramie or a Limited. So I guess that is a downside. But aside from that, the seats are really nice. The touch points are really nice as well. So that is all good. So that's not a problem whatsoever. And then aside from that, I mean, other than the fact that you're higher up off the ground, it really doesn't drive all that different from stock. So you're not really giving anything up, but you're getting a truck that looks really cool from the outside, gives you a really cool King of the Row feel. And yeah, on top of that, again, it comes with that three year warranty. And so really you're not losing out on anything. And so, yeah, if you're looking for a badass lifted truck, check out this Black Widow Ram 1500. And Provo has this one that I love the spec on, the white with the black accenting, perfection. Now let's get some things up for our video on this 2021 Black Widow Ram 1500. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larich Miller Dodge Ram here in Provo for giving me some time with this truck. Check out their inventory and link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.